Today, I have a 2001 Ford F-150 XLT. And today, I'll be going over the features on the interior and the exterior and checking out the engine bay on this F-150. As well as going over some of the F-150's main competitors as well as trims and pricing. So let's go ahead and check it out. You have remote keyless entry. Now this generation F-150 is one of my favorite generations of the F-150. This generation started back in 97 and lasted until 2003 and Ford redesigned it in 04. It's a black exterior. with the gray cloth interior, manual driver's seat adjustments. Let's go ahead and start this baby up. I actually really like this interior of the F-150. They use this layout on the Expedition as well. Only 80,000 miles on this F-150, very low mileage. Nice. You have a leather wrap steering wheel. Four speed column mounted automatic transmission. Let's go ahead and turn on the lights. You also do have your hazards. Let's go ahead and turn on those. Automatic driver's side window. Let's go ahead and pop the hood, check out the engine bay. Chrome exterior mirrors. Halogen headlamps. Under the hood of the F-150 you will find a 4.6 liter Triton V8. Very powerful motor. F-150's main competitors are the Dodge Ram, Chevrolet Silverado, the GMC Sierra, as well as the Toyota Tundra. Total vehicle price for this particular F-150 is $9,995. This is a Super Crew model, which had the unique tail lights. Your power windows, your power door locks, and your power mirrors. And let's go ahead and rev up the F-150. Very powerful game. Now 
nice. Now material quality in the F-150 is okay. Pretty hard plastic right here. It is a truck, so that's to be expected. Every truck in this class has hard plastics everywhere. So, but you have cruise control. You have also a tilt steering wheel. You'll find an AM, FM, cassette deck as well, as well as a CD player. All your AC controls, your fan speeds, your temperatures. As far as comfort goes in the F-150, the seats are actually pretty comfortable. I'm actually very surprised. Thigh support is actually pretty good as well. I have to say. You have full bench seating, cup holders. Here's your center console. More cup holders. Nice simple gauges too. Now, I like the Silverado's interior just a little bit better because everything is ergonomically correct in the Silverado. Please check out my review on the Silverado. All right. And I'm gonna shut down the F-150. Let's go ahead and check out the rest of the truck. You also have power adjustable pedals. Material quality does follow through in the rear. Still pretty hard plastic right here, but it's actually really soft to the touch right here and pretty soft to the touch on the armrest, which is actually very good. Now back here, you will actually find lots of leg room. I'm actually very surprised. It is pretty comfy back here too, just like the front. Now, compared to the Toyota Tundra, uh, Toyota is definitely going to have better reliability, of course. But um, the F-150 is definitely going to have better powertrains and more configurations with the truck body style. But the Toyota Tundra is still a great truck. Please check my, out my review on the 2000 Toyota Tundra if you're comparing it to this. You have cup holders back here too. It's actually not too bad back here. All right. Full manual passenger seat. Glove box compartment. All right. And thank you for checking out this review on this 2001 Ford F-150. If you have any questions on this Ford F-150, please let me know. Remember, this is Cameron's Car Reviews, car buying made easy.